Okay, and here's our grade 12 universal gravitation question, uh, another one that we're working with. Suppose a new planet is discovered that has a radius three times that of the Earth and a mass of five times that of the Earth was the acceleration of gravity on that planet's surface. So we're looking for g for that specific planet. So the equation we're going to use is not something that's kind of given to you. We we're going to figure it out first. And that's knowing that the force of gravity kind of by definition from, from grade 11 and earlier in grade 12 is mass times the acceleration of gravity on the Earth, 9.81 meters per second squared. Newton says, well, the force of gravity is universal gravitational constant, mass of the governing planet, multiplied by the mass of the object over r squared. And that r is the distance between the center of that planet and the person. Those two lowercase m's are the same. They're the same object on a specific planet. So we equate those relationships, mg equals g, mass of the planet, mass of the object over the distance between them squared. Mass of the object doesn't matter. So that's why everything on a specific planet, object, you know, asteroid, it's the same acceleration of gravity because the mass divides out. All that matters is universal gravitational constant, mass of the planet, and how big that planet is. Distance from the center of that planet to its surface, essentially. So from this, though, that relates and communicates some important information. Universal acceleration, or acceleration on a surface, is directly proportional to the mass of the planet, inversely proportional to the size of that planet, the radius of that planet, squared. So knowing what we're starting with, in the gravitational acceleration of the Earth, 9.81 meters per second squared, I can think of this as, well, what if the Earth uh, tripled in radius and then it got five times the mass? I can use this proportionality to, uh, to figure out what, how the acceleration would change. So it's its original value, 9.81 times, because it's directly proportional to the mass change, it increases five times, inversely proportional to the radius change. And it's three times the radius, but the radius is squared in a relationship. So essentially this object of this new planet is going to be gravitation acceleration of the Earth times five times the mass over three times the radius squared. So that five comes from being five times the mass of the Earth, and that three in there comes from being three times the radius of the Earth. But they would actually have to calculate what the radius is and, and what the mass of the Earth is. Go back to red here, so the gravitational acceleration of that planet is 9.81 times 5 over 9. That equals 5, I think it's 5.45, we'll double check, times 5. Yeah. 5.45 meters per second squared. So again, if this method didn't quite like, if you don't quite understand that it's just the acceleration of the Earth times the mass increase divided by uh, the radius increase squared. Just put the values in for the mass of the Earth, the radius of the Earth. It's a, it's a little big. The numbers are big, but you can handle them. Calculators can handle them and uh, hammer it out and calculate it out.